was. I repeat that question again. Who was connected with the Gestapo here in Karazawa? Yes, I, I don't know anything about Gestapo activities in Japan. I don't Mr. know. Mr. Spam, do you mean to tell me that as a representative of the German government, of the German embassy here in Karazawa, you do not know who the Gestapo was? Yes, I, 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 I say you. I don't think it's right to uh, speak about uh, Gestapo activities. Why? Why? Uh, because I don't think that uh, uh, Mr. Meisinger was able to do anything like uh, Gestapo activities. You in mean Japan like all. Warsaw? Yes, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, he was not uh, head of a police force uh, like he had been but in Warsaw. You repeated, bef you said before that Mr. Meisinger was in charge of the police force here. He was police attache. Of the police attache. But I am trying to define the word, Mr. Spam. I'm trying to get the word so that it will make sense, so it will not sound like double talk. Would you explain that again now? Mr. S Meisinger was attached to the police force here. Is that correct or isn't it? Uh, might be not correct. He, is re he was representing the German police uh, uh, to the uh, Japanese uh, in the ministry. And uh, he had, uh, besides that, some uh, police duties. Uh, police duties. Let, the, let us define the police duties. Mm. Uh, if the Japanese were policing their own country, then what would be the police duties of the Germans here in Japan? To give uh, passports to the uh, Germans here and uh, to you know, see after their registration with the uh, consulates uh, and so on. Uh, for all the Germans here, is that right? Yes, that's right. And it required a full staff for two years with you in the staff to just handle those duties alone. I think my English is very bad because I think, I thought, Mr. Spam, uh, it is very well understood. Uh, I think I had explained for several times that I wasn't in the staff of Mr. Madden. I didn't belong to, uh, in any way, to Mr. Meisinger. But you did work with Mr. Meisinger. I worked with the German amb ambassador, and uh, uh, my, uh, my comrades here worked with the German uh, embassy uh, departments, and I had very few connections <coughs> with Mr. Meisinger. But, Mr. Spahn, the main question at the moment is working in the embassy and being so close to all the political affiliations and problems at hand, you would know all the things that had happened and all the things that didn't happen. Now, knowing those things, surely you would know who the Gestapo was here in Karazawa. As you, uh, you are always uh, talking about uh, Gestapo, I don't think it would be the right expression in uh, connection with uh, Mr. Mozart. Yeah. I see. Well, uh, would you give the right expression then? Yes, he was um, mm, uh, some sort of secretary of uh, Mr. Meisinger, and he was uh, staying here at Karizawa. How do you spell his name? Mozart? Mm -hmm. M-O-S-A. N E R. And his first name, please. This is uh, uh, Alarich. A L A R I C H. C H. Uh, how old were you when you joined the Nazi Party? Old. Yes. I was uh, 22. 22 years old. And uh, what uh, city in Germany were you in? In Berlin. In Berlin. I see. Uh, were you at any time in uniform as a soldier of the German army? Yes, I have been a soldier of the German army during that uh, uh, war. Were you called into service actively during such time as Germany was at war? Yes, I was uh, uh, two years I uh, participated in the 
uh, battle in France and also in the uh, battles on the Eastern Front from beginning until my own uh, wounding. I see. And what rank were you? I was uh, last uh, first lieutenant. Fine. First lieutenant. Mm. I see. And uh, how come you were discharged from the army back to civilian life and into... Because I was not uh, able for front service in uh, uh, consequence of my uh, uh, wounds. I had uh, fought through the left breast. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, where did you leave from when you came to Japan by submarine? Uh, we started from Loyang and uh, went to shore in Pinan. Where was that? Pinan. Pinan. Oh, Pinan. <coughs> you went ashore in Pinan. Uh, that's from the German submarine. Yeah. Uh, then you came by a Japanese uh, ship. airplane. Uh, airplane from Pinan. Mm. Did, um, did you have anything to do with getting supplies from Japan back to Germany or uh, an exchange of, uh, of supplies? Or? The material supplies? No. Yes. It was not. <coughs> my uh, duties were only confined to the uh, German efforts here. Well, were there any exchanges of supplies between Germany and Japan? I'm not informed about that, but I think uh, until shipping was uh, becoming uh, very difficult, there was uh, some uh, exchange of supplies. Have you any further questions? No, I, uh, I, I think not. But your, your duties were entirely political. They were uh, political and your... Uh, the question is still unanswered. Well, uh, I, I, I mean that there, there is there's little difference, of course, between the party, uh, between the Nazi party and the government. In other words, the, the party practically is the government, and uh, it always works in the realm of, of politics, I would say, wouldn't you? Yes, yes but uh, it was the other thing in foreign countries. Foreign countries, uh, the political tasks were a matter of the ambassador because the ambassadors were uh, directly responsible to the Führer, Vice-Chancellor, and um, uh, they uh, handled all political matters and uh, gave their instructions also to the party head. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore there was a uh, sort of uh, subordination of the party head the ambassador and uh, of course the ambassador was a was a uh, leading member of the party though uh, himself <coughs> not so uh, he didn't play any uh, especially uh, big role in the party mr summer but i mean of <coughs> course mr summer would not have been ambassador had he not been a member of the party, uh, the, the government hmm. wouldn't have sent a, uh, a non uh, Yes, he was very close member. to Mr. Uh, von Ribbentrop. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was a special reason to entrust him with the task of an ambassador to Japan. But uh, he was not a member of the uh, inner circle of party leaders, uh, the highest... Uh, Such as uh, Hermann Göring or... Uh, yes, uh, to say that. And... Um, mm, the, the party uh, thought it very uh, important uh, that the uh, Germans abro uh, abroad, especially also Japan, Japan-controlled areas, uh, were Mm. well provided with uh, uh, daily necessities and uh, showed uh, good uh, organization, good uh, unity, spirit of uh, unity and of uh, uh, political uh, <coughs> common sense also to the country of their uh, staying. And, uh, 
he called the work of the German colony in Japan was uh, becoming uh, voluminous so that uh, some pro uh, professional head of the party activities in Japan was needed. And uh, perhaps also some staff of uh, professional uh, party functionaries. Uh, therefore, I was sent to Japan. But uh, I had to come uh, without <coughs> any assistance. And, uh, uh, here to work with was uh, only the honorary assistance of uh, all Germans. This uh, answer upon that question why uh, during a wartime special uh, 